All that anticipation is finally over, guys. It's finally time. RX Vega is finally here. I've said finally like three times. What's up guys, Ibra here with Hurricane X and I'm here in Los Angeles, California covering uh, AMD's Ryzen Tech Day event. Uh, it has been a pretty exciting time for me. This is my first uh, Tech Day event, so I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm just getting used to the city. It's my first time, I really haven't explored that much, but regardless of that, AMD has finally uh, unveiled specs for the RX Vega GPU and as well as we've got more info on AMD's Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. Uh, that will be a topic for another video. We still have a lot more coverage uh, for Threadripper coming very soon. So this video is gonna be focused on Vega GPUs. And so here's what you need to know. Now, every Vega GPU is based off the Vega 10 architecture, which consists of 12.5 billion transistors on a 14 nanometer manufacturing process. When you compare this to HBM1, that's two times the memory bandwidth per pin, eight times the capacity per stack, and it's supposedly 3.5 times more power efficient than GDDR5. The first GPU that was showcased was the Radeon RX Vega 64. It comes with 64 next-gen compute units, 4096 stream processors, base clock of uh, 1247 megahertz and a boost of 1546 with eight gigabytes of HBM2 high bandwidth cache memory. From a physical standpoint, this is probably one of the best looking Radeon cards that I've come across in a long time. And I'm actually really digging the metal shroud along with the Vega logo. It looks pretty cool in my opinion, but I'd like to hear your thoughts about the design in the description down below. Now there are three variants of the RX Vega 64 GPU that you should be aware of, starting with the standard model that sports a similar reference design from the RX 480, so you're getting the same plastic shroud and the blower style fan. Then we move on to the limited edition GPU that essentially sports the same specs as the reference model, but now you're getting a metal shroud that's built really well. It comes with the Vega branding, so if you're into that, then this would be it. The flagship model is the RX Vega 64 liquid cool GPU, which features slightly higher specs compared to the air cooled model, and I'll get to that in a moment. Lastly, AMD did announce a slightly cut down version of the Vega 64 GPU. So say hello to the RX Vega 56. Specs wise, this GPU sports 3584 stream processors, a slightly lower base clock of 1156 megahertz versus 1247 on the Vega 64 GPU. Uh, there are also less next gen compute units, lower teraflops of compute performance, and a slightly lower memory bandwidth. Now, when you take a look at the specs of the liquid cooled Vega 64 GPU, things start to get a little interesting. The base clock is roughly 200 megahertz higher than the air cooled model, but the boost clock gets as far as 1677 megahertz, which is pretty interesting to see on an AMD GPU. Performance wise, AMD did showcase a few charts at 1440p and 4K comparing the Vega 64 GPU to the GTX 1080. Now I'm not 100% sure as to which GPU was used to run those benchmarks, uh, so I'm not aware of whether it was the air cool GPU or the liquid cool GPU. Again, if you look at the spec difference between both those both cards, uh, they are quite significant. So again, I can't give you guys my full verdict on performance, so you guys have to stay tuned for our full performance review, uh, which will be coming up very shortly. And the last thing that I wanted to cover is pricing for these new GPUs, because I'm aware that a lot of you guys are excited for RX Vega and pricing strategies. So. Uh, let's kick things off with Vega 56. It's priced at $400. The Vega 64 GPU is priced at $500, and that's gonna get you the standard reference design, so not the limited edition design. Okay, so here's where things get a little interesting. AMD did unveil these exclusive Radeon packs specifically designed for the RX Vega 64 Liquid Cool GPU, the RX Vega 64 Limited Edition GPU, and the RX Vega 56 GPU. There are primarily three packs. Uh, the baseline pack is the red pack, uh, then we move on to the uh, black pack, and then the final top of the line pack is the aqua pack. So let's kick things off with the red pack. It costs $500, so it's $100 more than what you'd actually pay for uh, the RX 56 Vega GPU by itself. But for $100 more, you'd be getting a voucher discount for certain components. So in this case, uh, you get $200 off a FreeSync monitor, $100 off a Ryzen 7 CPU paired with an X370 uh, base motherboard and two free games. Stepping things up to the black pack, it costs $600 and it comes with the limited edition GPU. So early adopters who are you know right on board when pre-order hits would end up getting the limited edition GPU. But once they run out of stock for that particular model, uh, then when people who buy or people who get the black pack would end up getting the uh, reference cooler uh, for the RX Vega 64 GPU. The voucher program still remains the same, so you have $200 off the monitor, $100 off the Ryzen 7 CPU paired with the X370 motherboard, and two uh, free games. 
The top of the line Radeon pack, AKA the Aqua pack, is priced around $700. And it comes with the Vega 64 liquid cool GPU and the voucher program that I mentioned uh, earlier. Now, I have mixed feelings about this deal, like this deal with Radeon packs, because I'm not super excited about it, while I'm also not disappointed about it. Because I know people who are looking to build a system based off a Ryzen platform might end up leaning towards this, uh, you know, this packs because you g do get certain discounts with motherboards and monitors. So it can be considered a positive, but for people who are already rocking, you know, freezing monitors with Ryzen systems might have to pay that additional cost up front to get the liquid Google GPU or even the limited edition GPU. So I'm not really sure why AMD decided to do it this way because, you know, it's really confusing. They could have just given us standalone uh, liquid cool GPUs and limited edition GPUs for just the cost of those GPUs and not include that extra $100 premium for just a voucher program. It just doesn't make any sense to me personally. But some of you guys might, uh, you know, be excited about it. Again, let me know what you guys think about this whole Radeon packs in the comments down below. Well, that concludes my coverage of the Radeon RX Vega GPUs. I wanna hear your thoughts about these new uh, video cards. Are you excited about it? Um, are you excited about the specs of these new cards? Let us know in the comments down below. And I wanna leave you guys on one note. If you go back to the spec sheet comparing the Vega 56, the 64 limited edition and the 64 liquid cooled edition, take a look at the power draw line. And let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below because I'm really excited to test that out. Again, I'm Ebro with Howard Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.